these sunflowers started now. The ones I'm going to be doing this year, which uh, I haven't done since as a child, but they're a pretty good variety. They are a pretty good variety, which is a giant yellow, which is just a single stem one with just one main flower, 79 pence from my local pound structure. So let's see how they do. Get these seeds out. Generally, you can tell if they're a pretty decent sized seed that you're going to get pretty big sunflowers. As always, when you take the seal off the bottom of the packet, it um, never happens exactly how you want it to open. So I'll take that out. Not massive seeds, but look like they'll do. Just get these little, I think they're two inch pots filled up now. Compost I'm using is Johnny's number one seed starting compost. Going to be watering these in with a little drop of max crop seaweed extract mixed in with the water. Now they're watering nicely, poke a tiny little hole. Sunflowers um, can go through quite deep anyway, but uh, just cover it up just slightly. Pick my best seeds. You're looking for the plumpest and best seeds you can. When I put my seeds in, see the seeds. I put it thin end down into the compost. I would do this left handed but um, I can't do it. <laughs> that six should be enough. Now I'm back up the allotment. The peas um, seem to be coming through now. Uh, some are spouting out a bit faster than others, but same on this side. Uh, these are her screen shaft, if I didn't uh, already mention. But they're doing quite well, they're spouting through. Uh, I'm just going to show you a new weeding tool that I've got now, which I think is a really good idea and didn't really cost too much. So I'll get that out now and I'll give you a quick look. So this is the tool I'm on about. It's uh, called the weed extractor. It's probably about five, six inches, and it just if I can get this out, it dispatches like dislodges itself, and then it just clicks into the handle, which the handle is this um, like a spade kind of handle, and you just dig it down, twist and pull the weeds out. So I'll see if I can find some culprits for the job. So the first one I'm going to try is this little dandelion here. So what I've read on the internet is you poke it down to by the centre, push down, twist, 
and then it pulls the weed out, root and all. You can see the root there. Then if I pull it out, you can see how deep it digs down. Seems pretty good. Let's see if I can uh, find any more. The same with this one here. Seems like a handy tool, even sadly bending down, <laughs> which sounds a bit lazy for a gardener, but yeah, I think the company's Wolf Garden, so seems a pretty good idea. I'll get carried on with this. I'm on a dandelion hunt. Let's try this one. Well, I apologise if you don't lose it. Let's see if I can get this one out and show you. As you can see, all the root there pulled out. Broke a tight little bit, but that's quite far under the ground. So, pretty handy stuff. Bad horror movie. There we go. There's half out. So this is still a very big mess from last year. But um, over the back there, I have my um, raspberry tree. So I'm going to plant it right next to that. Give you a quick look at what I've actually got on and I'm going to plant here. So I'm going to chuck a bit of this on, which is organic poultry manure. So these are what I'm going to be putting in. So if I can get that back for you. These are Ben Nevis blackcurrant plants. And um, they're pretty good. They're worth £5 and reduced to 99p. So two of these here should fill quite nicely. I can move you up. I've got one and two. Let's get these in.
about the time I got clean this bed up I think. Uh, I put onions in here last year and courgettes. Didn't do too bad. So that's about enough for today. So that's about enough for today. I think I've done enough digging. Um, and it's just about to start going dark, so I'm not really going to get much done. Uh, I'll try and give you a quick look at what I've been doing. Although you would see most on the video anyway, I'll give you a quick little tour. See you in a second. So if I start from the top here, uh, we've still got some spinach uh, growing there, some beetroots. Still got some of the dwarf curly kale growing uh, pretty well. I've had this bed dug out for a couple of days I think. Uh, both sides. Same as the bed as the back there. But get my words out. And the bed up there that I've just cleared out. Uh, the main one that needs doing is that. I've also got to put some new wood on the bottom there just to get the bed built up properly. Uh, these are the our winter onions also doing pretty well uh, not too big but come summer they should be okay sweet cornbread from last year still needs clearing out it's a hell of a mess but um shouldn't really take too long Give a bit of a good dig all the strawberry beds are pretty much looking the same not much of a change there 
uh, the parsnip bed still a bit messy pretty much everywhere is messy but I mean shouldn't take me too long uh, there's the fruit trees that I just planted over the back there um, one way out for the day now so thanks for watching see you in the next video thank you to all my new subscribers and my current subscribers thanks for watching take care